Welcome to this edition of Week in Review. I'm Marlon Paley along with Sheila Hodgkins and uh, Ganem Hanna. You know, he's the CEO and president of the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. Well, we're here today to uh, give you an update of what's been going on uh, this week behind the scenes, uh, behind the doors here at the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network and in Loma Linda, California. But before we do that, uh, let's open with the verse of the day. And Sheila has picked a real special one. Whoa, tell us something I want. I can't wait. <laughs> it's found in Colossians 1.6, and it reads, This same good news that came to you is going out all over the world. It is bearing fruit everywhere by changing lives, just as it, just as it changed your lives from the day you first heard and understood the truth about God's wonderful grace. Why did you uh, gravitate? Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I understand the wonderful grace, mm -hmm. but there's a lot more in that verse. Well, I, I love it just because, you know, our whole purpose here is spreading the good news. And I think this verse, it just says it so well. When you viewers hear the good news for yourself, as we have heard the good news for ourselves, you just want to go out there and spread the word. Mm. So, and it has just this marvelous, marvelous hope you know, about God's good news. It's actually very encouraging for you and us to know we're part of that verse, to know that was quoted 2,000 years ago, and now we are actually doing exactly what that said, sharing the good news of Jesus into the world and, and, and seeing people bearing the fruit of, of mm -hmm. knowing who Jesus is. Uh, so it's encouraging mm -hmm. to know our actions are within the word of God, uh, the words of scripture, and, 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 and as believers, you and us, that's our goal in life, uh, to share the good news of Jesus and to help people come out of their distress and their sadness and to bring soothing message of Jesus Christ into their lives. Amen. And I think that's so important for people to know that it's all about Jesus and what he did for them. Yeah. dying on the cross and his wonderful grace that he has for all of us. Well, if I may just add, if we have a little time, mm. I mean, so Jesus died for us on the cross and some people know what that is because they live that relationship and they experience it. And some others who have not accepted Christ, I mean, they still wonder. Well, just think of what he created for us. Just the air we breathe alone is a gift of life. The sight, the nature, the, the food, that he created the fruits and the vegetables that we can eat and nurture our bodies, the fellowship of mankind, you know, with each other. I live to get out and see people. And that's what people like. People love people. You don't like to stay at home locked in. What do you do at home? You want to get out. And why you get out? Because you start seeing people. This is all part of God's gift. What he created to us, everything good he created is from him a gift to us. So when we accept Christ, we accept in all that he created accepting the gifts he created for us. And then, of course, in return, we want to share those gifts with the world and tell them what Jesus did and then why he died on the cross and what's more ahead for all of us. Mm -hmm. Well, that's pretty exciting. I mean, this is, this is the mission of the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. And, you know, what makes it really that much better? Yeah. Because our viewers make it possible. They support this mission. You know, we couldn't do it. Sheila couldn't do it by herself. Well, maybe I, Sheila can, but not us. Well, I know I could, but I, maybe you. <laughs> but, you know, this is, this is the value of supporting a, a, a ministry like this. Mm -hmm. Because we're in perilous times. You know, I'm, I don't know where we are in the stream of time, but it's not the beginning. Right? No, you know, and we, in fact, we've been it's the beginning of the end, maybe. Featuring uh, a series of specials on uh, Christian Connections. Uh, that uh, is a program you can see every Tuesday night live uh, at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, and we've been addressing you know, the, the hard questions about, uh, is this a sign of the time of the end? Uh, check it out on Christian Connections. Uh, last week we had Mark Etchell and uh, some great music too. I mean, tell us about the music. Oh, you don't want to miss it. We had these two young um, men, the Thomas boys, and uh, I think they're the youngest 
we've um, performers had. that we've ever had. That's Christian Connections, uh, live Tuesday nights, but you can still see the replay uh, later this afternoon. Uh, check the uh, schedule uh, on the website. That's LLBN.TV. And um, share it with your friends uh, next week. Brand new show. That's We're looking right. forward to that. And you can also see this program on social media. Now, again, we have a, a tremendous social media network, and you are a part of that network. Uh, your programs and your spots are seen. Tell us a little bit about social media. Well, it's so important. We just had a, a LLBN viewer come and ask how their mom can see LLBN live. And what you could do is you could either turn, if you have cable, you could watch it on your television. But what we'd really like is if you have your phone, most people have phones, you could get the app directly, it's LLBN. Look, it's free and you could share it with others. It's also on Facebook. And if you have Roku, Apple TV, um, you will want to um, log on to LLBN.TV. It has all the resources there and all the shows that you may have missed. Like he was saying, we had these wonderful, the Thomas boys, Liam and Lukey, wonderful violinists. And if you missed that, you will want to stay tuned and watch it again this afternoon or watch it um, on, just by logging on and looking for it and you'll be able to find it. Now, I think, yeah, they can watch it again and again and again yeah. on VOD. And it's on I've YouTube done. as well. Yeah. You know. I do that a lot. I, I hear a message by one of our pastors or a great music by one of our musicians, and I just hear it several times. A week later, I go back and say, oh, I want to hear, hear Pastor Carl Hafner, or I want to hear Randy Roberts, or I want to hear uh, Dan Smith. And you just go back and click and watch. Those of you who are not technical, Savvy, it's really easy. You know how to spell, then very easy. That's <laughs> Sheila mm -hmm. said. Put, go to your app store or go to your nearest own store if you don't know how or talk to your grandchild. They can just go to the app store, put LLBN, period. And then you get all our channels. And you can get to watch all you want and bless mm -hmm. your friends and, and be blessed by it as well. Yes, I, I even sometimes go back just to hear what Dr. Taylor had said or what you, yeah. or, you know, or Marlon has said, right. just to say, is that what he said? That's really, really important news. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay, we've got a lot to cover and a uh, little time to do it in. Uh, let's talk about uh, the specials that are coming, the, the three-night specials that LLBN is becoming famous for. Oh, uh, second week of October, we have another three-nighter. Uh, it'd be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, you'll have the time on the screen. Uh, we have a special guest speaker, Pastor Morris. Uh, he be, he's a senior pastor from Kansas Avenue, about 20 miles here from Loma Linda. An incredible, powerful speaker. Uh, we'll be blessed to listen to him all three nights, but we'll also be blessed to hear about what God is doing here in the life of LLBN, in the life of our viewers, and in the life of our workers and volunteers. So we'll give you more information. Stay tuned. Second week uh, on Monday of the second week of October. So that represents some you know, brand new programming that's coming your way. Uh, we lo love to do that, but we also love to walk down memory lane. Now, many of you remember Pastor Bill Loveless. Uh, used to be pastor at the Loma Linda University Church, uh, if you go back that far. Uh, well, Bill is waiting in the dust for Jesus. Uh, but we still have Bill on digital storage. We're going to resurrect his series uh, about, is it the marriage uh, series? Uh, no, no, this is his church service that he, when he pastored as a senior pastor at University Church, uh, his wife, uh, uh, Edna May, was kind enough to give us all the tapes uh, that, that, he, that he preached on the Sabbath. So we're running a full church service that back from... 2000, I think 2003, 2004, 2005. I'm, I'm not sure on the exact years. But if you want to hear uh, Elder Bill uh, 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 Loveless and you want to enjoy his sermons again, you have to go to our sister television channel, His Light, which is available on all the platforms that Sheila just mentioned mm -hmm. to you. So His Light, uh, go to our website, uh, llbn.tv. You can look up the, the Aaron Times and you can watch it off the web or your mobile device. We have a new building that uh, 
you know, we're working on. It's coming along. First floor is done. We just need to do the flooring. Second floor be done end of this week. And then we just need to do flooring. So we'll wait for flooring in two weeks to put for both places. Uh, big, expensive AC units, air conditioning units. Mm -hmm. uh, four or five of them arrives next week. They're 20000 apiece. Uh, they're coming in. Uh, lots happening. We're leaving the outside last. That's the last pleasant surprise you'll see. Because once you see the exterior done, the place is ready. So uh, stay tuned. God is good. We're seeing it before our own eyes coming up together as his place of worship. Need for volunteers. Lots of volunteers. Uh, we always need volunteers. Uh, as soon as we catch up with the building project, we're going to call on you folks because you can come here and be part of a lot of things to do to serve Jesus. And you'd be surprised whether you're 90 or 14 years old. There's a lot you can do, and we don't discriminate. We give equal amount of work to everyone regardless of <laughs> age. So join us. It'll be fun to work with you. Now, you don't even have to be in Loma Linda to uh, participate in this kind of mission work with LLBN. We have uh, uh, lots of jobs that you could just do from Michigan or the Bahamas or Mexico. Uh, you know, we have a Latino channel that needs scheduling and the same is for all of our channels. You live in Ro Romania and you wanna make a difference uh, on scheduling the brand new channel that's coming up, get in line, go to the website and fill out a volunteer application Jay Hughes, so uh, we'll I'll give you a call back. Time now for cards and letters, and as usual, we only have time for one, uh, but it's a make good for Donna because we couldn't get to her last time. Donna from Gainesville, Florida writes, I'm enclosing an offering to help cover the day-to-day -day expenses of LLBN. I really enjoy watching Searching for Answers and The Gathering Place. I can't thank you enough for these and other wonderful programs. Sincerely, Donna. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Donna, and we'd love to pray for you. Would you like to pray for her? Mama? Yeah, Father in heaven, thank you for this wonderful gift from Donna. And she's one of the many viewers that you have blessed this day to touch their hearts, to add to Donna's gift. For this is the time that LLBN really needs uh, the support of our viewers. So we thank you for your richest blessings toward all that are in your kingdom to support the good news of Jesus Christ saving grace. We ask these things in Jesus' name and a special blessing for Donna and Mexico in Jesus' name. Amen. And now here's Ganem with the last word. And thank you, Marlon, for that wonderful prayer for Donna. And thank you for making that appeal to our viewers. Folks, it is you who keep this ministry funded. As a matter of fact, this hour you're watching today and the next hour and the one after, it's more likely brought by someone like you who's given the $150 an hour or more. So why don't you become a sponsor and surrogate of our programming and help us for $150 or more continue to bring the broadcasting of LLBN into millions of homes all throughout the world. Thank you and God bless you. See you next time on Week in Review.